The international community has decided to fight climate change and its consequences. In order to limit or reduce greenhouse gas emissions in developing countries and to help adapt vulnerable societies to the unavoidable impacts of climate change, 197 countries, party to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, established the Green Climate Fund, GCF. The fund strives to mobilize funding at scale to invest in low-emission and climate-resilient projects and programs in developing countries. The GCF has a diverse network of partners, which is still growing. Organizations whose mandate is in line with the fund regulations can partner with the GCF. Getting accredited is one of the ways to engage with the fund, but accreditation is a rigorous and multi-stage process. It is worthwhile to plan and prepare for it. First, your entity needs to have its own legal status. Second, your entity needs to have in place strong fiduciary standards, environmental guidelines, social guidelines, and gender policies and procedures at the institutional level. Third, your entity should be able to demonstrate that there is a sufficient track record of such policies being implemented within the institution and will accordingly be able to meet the fund standards. Subnational, national, regional and international entities, both public and private, are eligible for accreditation. If you are a subnational, national or regional entity and interested in applying for accreditation, first liaise with your country's designated national authority, which coordinates all engagement with the GCF and will have to endorse your application. Applications will be received through the GCF's online accreditation system. The Fund Secretariat will check if the application is complete with all the required supporting documentation once an accreditation fee is paid. This is the first stage. The next stage is conducted by an independent accreditation panel of technical experts, which review the entity's application. Depending on the quality and completeness of documents submitted, several rounds of questions, interviews or a site visit may occur to determine whether the applicant entity can be accredited. Once the assessment is finished, the accreditation panel will recommend the entity to the board of the GCF, which will finally decide based on the panel's recommendation. Stage 3 is the legal arrangement where the entity and the GCF enter into an accreditation master agreement. This agreement serves as the overarching legal agreement between an entity and the GCF.